What's going on guys, Sean Don of Throws University here with this week's Hammer Tip of the Week. Help me come up with a better name than that. Today, we are talking about how to keep a stable left side axis in the hammer throw. So, if you guys watch top level hammer throwers, you'll notice that for the most part, the hammer passes by them and their left shoulder, hip, knee, ankle, heel, all that stuff stays pretty damn stable. A common fault that a lot of younger hammer throwers make is the left shoulder sort of pulls away where the left hip shifts back as the hammer goes left. That instability in that left side is no good. It is inefficient. The more stable this left side quote unquote axis is, the more efficient the entire system will be the farther you throw. So how do you prevent this left side from shifting back? What it comes down to is uh, mostly two things. First and foremost, and this is the hardest one to understand, what happens at any point in the throw is dictated by the position of the hammer. So any movement that you try to create, the hammer must be in the appropriate position for that movement to occur. What generally happens when somebody pulls their left shoulder away from the hammer is the hammer's not in the proper position to receive that force. So if you go to push the hammer too much or you go to act on the hammer and the ball only gets to right here, you're gonna pull that left shoulder back. But if you wait and let for that ball to get just to about zero and then pull that left shoulder, it's gonna stay stable for the most part, as long as you maintain a good connection and relax and let the hammer pass. All right, that left side action of pulling is actually part of the hammer system. It's just about the time of when you want to use it. If you use it too early, like I said, so if you catch and you go to work the hammer and you go to work too early, you'll pull that left shoulder back nine times out of 10. So you catch, you wait for the hammer to get to about zero, and then that left side goes. The other main factor that plays into maintaining a stable left side axis is the use of the lower body. This kind of comes back to posture. I should probably cover this in another video, maybe next week, but uh, using your lower body, using your right leg especially, using that right side will help you create a more stable left side. So for example, if somebody goes to push the hammer and they're not using this right leg, they're not pressuring laterally or even sometimes backwards, depending on once again, where the position of the hammer is. If you don't use that right side at the appropriate time, if you don't use that right side at all, which is most people's problems, they don't know how to use this right leg because they rely so much on their upper body, the traps, their arms and everything else like that to accelerate the hammer. So they forget how to use their lower body, how to sink into their legs, feel their legs working, feel their hips working, feel their core working. You can't use this right leg to stabilize yourself as the ball goes left, then you will, without a doubt, sink your hips back this way, or once again, that whole left side will go, you'll pull that left shoulder away. So what we want to happen is, off this first catch, all right, and then first turn, you come down, you use this right leg, you're pressuring backwards this way, you're pressuring backwards this way, you're pressuring over as the hammer goes left. That will help create a more stable left side axis, all right? I'm sweating out here, I'm out of breath. But yeah, wait for the ball to get in the right position, wait for the ball to pass to get to zero, and use that right leg, and the hammer will most definitely go around a nice stable left side axis, and you're gonna throw farther. That's what it is, all right? Thanks for watching, until next week, in the meantime, go sign up for a technical analysis done by yours truly. Let's help you set some PRs and improve your technique. Until next week, Sean Don, peacing out.